Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Pretty easy question. Diagonal AC of the rhombus ABCD bisects angle A. So this is angle 1, this is angle 2, let this be angle 3 and this is angle 4. This AC bisects angle A, that is angle 1 is equal to angle 2, that is given. We have to prove that it also bisects C, that is angle 3 is equal to angle pro. To prove angle 3 is equal to angle pro. Also ABCD is a rhombus, that means we have to prove AB is equal to AD. Because AB is equal to CD is given and BC is equal to AD is given because it is a parallelogram. Right? So let us start. If angle 1 is equal to angle 2, we have to prove angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So angle 2 is what is equal to angle 4? alternate angle and angle 1 is equal to angle 3 there are also alternate angles now since angle 1 is equal to angle 2 angle 3 also has to be angle 2 equal to angle 4 right so since angle 1 is equal to angle 2 instead of angle 1 I can say angle 3 and angle 2 I can say angle 4 so angle 3 is equal to angle 4, that is proved. Okay. Second is we have to prove that AB is equal to AD. So to prove AB is equal to AD or I can prove AB is equal to BC also. You need to say that AB is equal to BC. Let's take AB is equal to BC. To, to prove AB is equal to BC, so we can prove angle 2 is equal to angle 3, that's it. So in triangle ABC, if angle 2 is equal to angle 3, AB will be equal to BC, that is isosceles triangle. So let's try to prove angle 2 is equal to angle 3. So for from this, whatever we have drawn, we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4. That is what we have seen. And thus angle 2 is also equal to angle 3. Right? Since angle 2 is equal to angle 3, AB is equal to BC. Since AB is equal to BC, this is the rhombus. Okay. ABCD is the rhombus. It is given ABCD is a rhombus. That means all the sides are equal. We have to show that the diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. A, B, C, D. So we have to prove that dissect, bisect. Uh, Diagonal AC will bisect angle A as well as angle C and diagonal BD will bisect this plus this. So let's have this 1, 2, 3, 4. It is just converse of what we have done just now. Right? So we have to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. That is what we have to prove. Given ABCD is the rhombus. Okay, so let this guy meet at point O. So to prove that this angle is equal to this and this angle is equal to this, if we can prove that this triangle and this triangle are congruent, that means this angle will be equal to this, this angle will be equal to this. So let's do this. Okay, this is A, C and this is D. This is C, A and this is B. So we have to prove these two triangles are congruent. So let's see AD and BC, they will be equal. Yes, sides of rhombus. DC and AB, yes, they will be equal sides of rhombus. AC, AC, common side. So by SSS, they are congruent. So triangle DAC is congruent to triangle BCA. By side, side, side. You can write the steps. Since they are congruent, I can say that DAC is nothing but if you see angle 1, DCA is nothing but angle 4, BCA is 2 and this is 3. Therefore I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 4 is equal to angle 3. Right, since they are congruent. 1 will be equal to 4, 3 will be equal to angle 4. 1 be equal, be equal to 2 and 1 will be equal to 2 and 3 will be equal to 4. 
Correct? And that's what we had to prove. So ABCD is a rectangle in which diagonal AC bisects angle A. So let's first give it some name. A, B, C and D. Diagonal AC, so let's draw this diagonal AC. Diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. This is angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4. So it is given that 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and A, B, C, D is rectangle. Okay, that means this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. That is given. So we have to prove that A, B, C, D is a square. That means these two sides are equal. We have to prove that. Okay, or this side is equal to this side. So let's see this. Let's take these two triangles. Okay, this will be A C, this will be C A, A C, B and C A D. Let's take these two triangles and we see that A B, A B is equal to D C, B C, what is B C? D C is equal to D A and A C is equal to A C. So what are we going to prove with this? Can we prove AB is equal to AD? No, we can't. So it will not help. So let's not take this. To prove AB is equal to AD, right? So let's take this triangle. AC and B. Yeah, we have to prove this. So let's take these two triangles and see if we can make it congruent. Then AB is equal to AD, we can prove. AC is equal to AC common side, yes. BC and DC, where is BC and DC? We don't know anything about it. Okay, we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. What is angle 1? DAC. DAC is angle 1. And angle DCA is equal to angle 4. BAC is equal to angle 2. And BCA is equal to angle 3. Right? So angle 1 is equal to angle 2, 3 is equal to angle 4. That is correct. Right? That means by angle side angle, angle side angle we can prove it is to be congruent. So let's say that in triangle BAC and triangle DAC both are congruent. Or I can say triangle BAC is congruent to triangle DAC by angle side angle rule therefore AB is equal to AD right since the triangles are congruent I can say that AB is equal to AD if AB is equal to AD if that is proved that proves that it is a square if now if you see AB is equal to CD is given and this this is given rectangle so if I am proving this is equal to this that means all the sides are equal Right. Therefore, ABCD is square. One part done. Second part, diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. So you can just say using theorem, since ABCD is a square, diagonal BD will bisect angle B as well as D. That is for sure. Or, if you want, you can actually draw this diagonal BD. And you can prove these two triangles to be congruent. Right, then this, if you prove these two triangles to be congruent, it is pretty easy. It's all by SSS rule. These sides are all same and this common side is also same. Then this angle will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. Okay, so you can prove that way as well. So in the parallelogram ABCD, two points P and Q are given such that uh, they are taken on the diagonal BD and such that dp is equal to bq this is dp and this is bq both are same show that triangle adp is adp this triangle and cbq are congruent we can do that so apd follow the order apd and cqb cqb let's see the congruent ap 
AP is equal to CQ given no PD is equal to QB yes given they are equal AD and CB AD and CB also equal they are opposite sides of the parallelogram any angle we can make it equal we can see that this angle and this angle are same QBC where is QBC QBC this angle is equal to PDA PDA this angle so if you see these two triangles are congruent by side angle side so just let's write that angle a p d and triangle c q b a d is equal to c b right why opposite side of parallelogram a b c d second is angle angle is angle a d p is equal to angle c b q alternate angle and p d is equal to q b that is given therefore triangle a p d is congruent to triangle c q b by side angle side first part is done second part show that aq ap is equal to cq ap is equal to cq it will be because the triangles are congruent so ap is equal to cq since triangle apd is congruent to triangle cqb second part is also done third is triangle aqb and cpd are congruent to prove so let's draw these two triangles first aqb in the same order aqb in the same order cpd c P D. So let's see A Q and C P in relation. A Q C P no relation. Q B P D yes. That is given to be equal. A B and C D. A B and C D yes. They are opposite sides of parallelogram. Similarly A B Q, A B Q this angle and C D P, C D P this angle. If you see these two angles are alternate angles, so they are equal. Right. Similarly, I can say that. I will just say that triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD by side angle side. You can write the steps. Okay, they are congruent. This is done. Now AQ is equal to CP. We have to prove. Now if you see these triangles are congruent, so AQ is equal to CP. Right? Since triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD. This is done. Now we have to put APCQ is a parallelogram. So to prove APCQ is a parallelogram, if we can prove that AQ is equal to CP and QC is equal to PA, it is a parallelogram. And thus, if you see that, we have actually proved this. AP is equal to CQ, AP is equal to CQ, and AQ is equal to CA. So we have done this. Right? Opposite sides are equal, that is a parallelogram. We can say that since AP is equal to CQ and AQ. Is equal to PC. CP Therefore, AQCP is parallelogram. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.